Hello everybody and happy Friday. Welcome back to Circle Time with Miss Roxy. I woke up again to sun shining, so I'm so happy we got two days of sun. That means our Mr. Sun song worked. Good job. Let's keep it up. It's supposed to be beautiful this weekend, so let's keep our fingers crossed that we have a gorgeous weekend so we can spend some time outside. So we're going to finish up our weather week with another song. This song is If All of the Rain Drops. Some of you know this because we just randomly sing this song when it's raining or snowing outside. All right, are you ready? Here we go. If all of the rain drops were candy bars and gum drops, oh, what a rain it would be. Standing outside with my mouth open wide. Oh, what a rain that would be. If all of the snowflakes were candy bars and milkshakes, oh, what a snow it would be. Standing outside with my mouth open wide. Oh, what a snow that would be. Can you imagine if the raindrops were candy bars or gumdrops or if the snow was milkshakes? That would make snowing that much better and rain that much better. Right now, let's hope we don't get either one of these today. Let's hope we stick with Mr. Zum. Son, thank you for coming out. Thank you for coming out for me. Ooh, ooh. All right, so we're going to stick with the raindrop theme for our art today. Cindy made this one again for me. I've been putting her to work lately. So we're using that paint that I made. So we got some paint, and we she grabbed two different kinds of straws. She grabbed swirly, twirly, twirly straw, and then a thicker one. I think this one might have worked a little better. So she put some, she put some clouds on the paper, some paint, and then you blow it around to make a rain, a rain. Two different things. You can blow it around if you're having troubles with. Um, blowing around you could just blow it around with your mouth without the straw or if you want you can dip your finger um, Either in put marker on your finger to make a little ink stamp and you can make raindrops with your finger So lots of different things you can do or you can cut out raindrops and glue them on paper So get creative. Don't forget to send those pictures to me I love seeing what you guys are doing during the week even if it's not related to this send me pictures I'm missing you guys all right, the other activity, Friday snack day. It's called rainy day snack. Now, hopefully this doesn't bring rain, but it's a fun snack. I did this last year when we did weather. I'm not sure if I can hold it up. Let me see if I can do it this way. Can you see it? Oops, some of the raindrops are falling. I did take a picture of it, so I'll put the picture in comments. So basically it's called a rainy day snack. It's bananas, are the clouds, um, blueberries, or get creative if you've got blueberries, blackberries, any kind of, put anything in there for the raindrops. And I added pretzel rods for lightning rods. I thought I had pretzel sticks, but I have pretzel rods. I added those in there in the picture. They don't show that, but I think that would be fun to have in there. Some pretzels in there. You can even put some bread in there. Get creative with your snacks. Even if your rainy day snack doesn't look like that, what would you make for a rainy day snack that looks like rain or clouds? Think about that. Send it over to me. I hope you guys are having a great week. I'm very glad that the week ended in sun and not rain. But it definitely was a good week to talk about weather because we had rain and wind and sun. The only thing we didn't see was snow. Thank goodness. So, you guys have a great weekend. Enjoy your weekend. It's supposed to be absolutely gorgeous tomorrow. So, I know I'm going to spend time outside with my family. So, you guys have a great weekend. And I will see you on Monday.